New Year, same shit. Hey, how you doing? Um, I want to be honest. It's New Year's Eve right now. It's about 9.17 p.m. And I'm not feeling the best. But I got a tattoo done for Christmas. And I thought, what better time to test it out than now? <laughs> Impulsive, depressed decisions are... Not always the best. Yeah, no shit, honey! But I think I'm not gonna regret it, so. Currently looking up a video on how to set this up, because I have no idea. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I trust myself to do this, but whatever. Put it. <clears throat> Put it in the fuck it bucket. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Looks like there's some cups for ink. I don't know what to call them. They're not really cups, but whatever. Cartridge needles. I'm actually afraid of needles, fun fact. Every time I get my blood drawn, I pass out, so... This is quite interesting. <laughs> I've done stick and bumps on myself, but... I think this is self-adhesive uh, wrap. Looks like medical stuff. <laughs> Gloves. Ointment. This is the power cord. Got some black ink. Sounds very liquidy. It's sealed, so that's good. You know, the bad thing is I don't have fake skin. <gasps> Does this box come with fake skin? Hell yeah. Got this cord. I think it's to plug it into that. I don't know what this is. So. Maybe it's just like plastic in a bag. Ooh, this is the actual tattoo pen. I'm super excited about this. More medical self adhesive tape. Colorful ink. Wowie, look at all those colors. I like how they gave two, I think maybe four pieces of fake skin. This looks doubled, so. That's nice, that's helpful. What is this? Oh, this is the transfer paper. I think I'm just gonna be freehanding it, <laughs> which might not be the best idea, but put it in the fucking bucket. Do I ever have good ideas? Oh look, instructions at the very bottom of the box. <laughs> Let's see. Oh God, I don't wanna read all this. Okay, so I skimmed through this. That's a terrible thing to say. If you're gonna do this kind of shit on yourself, please read it. I'm a dumb bitch, so. All right, I'm gonna start with the fake skin. And hey, to all the tattoo artists out there, if you can actually tattoo. If I'm doing something wrong, please comment. I mean, I know it's probably too late because considering I'm doing this today, but you know, for future references. Something like that. It's super cute, and I think I want it like right there, like crawling up my wrist. Um, I have nerve damage in this hand for those of you who don't know. So this is gonna be quite a challenge because I know that my nerve damage is probably gonna act up like it did when I got this tattoo. I don't know, but if it twitches, it will twitch. So it's probably gonna be worth the tattoo, so. <laughs> you better stop, stop! Does it have a peely thing? Oh, hell yeah! I love these. So satisfying. Yes. Crisp. I love it. Look at how shiny it is. Wow, you can see me! This came with some really squeaky destructions. ASMR for y'all. Um, I'm gonna be honest, 
I don't know any of this shit, so I'm just gonna plug it into my extension cord that has all of this stuff going on and hope that that is the voltage that it says it is. I have no idea what I'm doing, so disclaimer, probably don't do what I'm doing and you'll be fine. The same thing what I said in my hair dye video. Um, very, very big disclaimer. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. Probably don't use this as a review or instructions. Uh, that is all. I think that this instruction book is better than... Wow, that's cool. For a little triangle. Sorry, I got distracted. I think that this instruction book thing is better than the video that I saw. Oh my gosh, the needles. Actually, I'm gonna wait for that because I'm fucking terrified of needles. And there's these little great rings. Oh look, it's like an amplifier plug. That's cute. Like guitar. While doing a tattoo, I guess. Do all guitarists have tattoos? noise. I don't know where it's coming from. It could very well be my neighbors partying because it's New Year's Eve. But I'm over here about to give myself a tattoo and I think that is fabulous. Who the hell else would be giving tattoos to themselves on New Year's Eve? All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> you know, I really don't feel comfortable putting Sharpies in my skin. Okay. So, here's the fake skin. I mean, it is a relatively small tattoo and I've done stick and pokes before, so hopefully that's a good enough experience. <laughs> it is 11.02, so midnight's coming up fast and I kind of want to get this started before then. So, uh, I guess I don't need gloves on this hand since it's too close to the wrist. So, I'm just gonna put that aside. All right, okay. I'm gonna practice on this little piece of skin first. I think you just dip it and then like do that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've got both cameras recording. I should probably tie my hair back. I'll be right back. Gun is working. Maybe I should test the two and see which one's better. Good ideas. Cause this also has black ink in it. And for all I know, it might be the same, which I think it looks like it, but lining black. Oh, true black. What's the difference? Help. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll find out. What the hell is this? So I'm gonna do true black in the first cup and then this thing. Honestly, I don't think 
like I need a Sharpie outline. I did that one without the outline. I'm hoping I can wing this one. I am pretty good at eyeballing. when you do it to yourself, honestly. I think I should be done. Alright, hope the off-brand version's okay, because I only have petroleum jelly. Oh my god! I actually love it. It's super cute. That doesn't look bad for like my first time ever using a tattoo gun. I don't think. I mean, I don't know. I'm probably going to touch it up, but... It looks pretty close to this. Which, I actually like this better because I wanted it like a little bit wider, you know? But, I don't know. I'm gonna touch up this one, hopefully. I think I need to go back in, but like my skin needs to heal a little bit. So I'm not gonna try and like push it because it's, my skin would be ejecting the ink right now, which makes sense because it's very fresh. I love it. That's a sweaty ass glove, holy shit. She's a little swollen and a little bit bloody, but I don't think that's bad for my first tattoo. I'll show you as it heals. I do highly recommend this kit for beginners. 
It has everything you need. I love how it gives the fake skin that you can practice on. It's honestly perfect for beginners and I will leave the link to this down below in the description box because this is definitely worth it. And also it wasn't too expensive from what I remember adding it to my wish list, so that's also a plus. So yeah, I would recommend this. I did read a lot of the reviews that said to get more ink, like the colored ink, to get like different kinds of colored ink because this wasn't the best for skin. So I will test this out and see how the colored ink works. From what I can tell, the black ink from those little tiny bottles were, it was still fine, but I still prefer the bigger one because it was definitely more opaque than the smaller bottle. But I think for practice it's fine. And then if you want to do like, if you want to do it on skin, I would probably get like a different kind of ink, um, which is probably what I'm going to do. But yeah, good, goodbye. I think having the experience of stick and pokes definitely helps a lot because it gives you like some sort of idea uh, of what you're doing on yourself because it's definitely different when you're doing it on someone else. So I don't know if you can hear the fireworks in the background because it's New Year's and I'm alone tattooing myself on New Year's, but it's fine. I'm happy about it, so that's good. Uh, I'm less depressed, so tattoos make you feel better. That's, that's not advice to go get tattoos, but it did help, so I'm glad I did it. I know it was very impulsive. I was not planning on this at all until like 10 minutes before I decided to do it. But I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate this past year. I know I've been pretty negative about New Year's and stuff, but I do appreciate all these subscribers I've gotten and all the support and comments and likes. And so thank you so much for watching my videos and enjoying it. <laughs> um, I hope that you all have a happy new year. And I will see you next year. Wait, it is next year. I'll see you in a couple weeks, probably. <laughs> I don't know how to end my videos. Bye! <laughs>